Hello and welcome to MIT USA. My name is Leo Valerio and uh, we wanted to give you a walk around on our seam welders to show you so, some of the features that our machines have. So starting off, we have a, um, a wider footprint down below. If you take a look here, we do this so that that way the operator has more space to be able to use a cart for loading and unloading heavy parts. The other, re the other reason that we do that is because it, um, it gives the machine more of a balanced stance so that it is able to um, avoid any teeter-totter. Another nice thing is we put this anti-slip tape on here so that the operator can actually be able to use it as a stool and be able to get in here and be able to see the actual uh, weld that he's performing. Another feature is that of the um, edge alignment devices. We're able to drop the edge alignment devices in here and be able to center the parts. Uh, for whenever you're lining them up and you can also loosen this and be able to move it anywhere along the length of the seamer. So um, we use linear rails. We also um, have a, uh, a uh, positioning uh, sequence that is true to the, to the backing bar within ten thousandths. We vibratory stress relieve everything that we make all of our units are sandblasted and painted so we get rid of all the scaling so it ends up nice and smooth and good appearance. We also have over here on the bottom where you can actually be able to move the uh, seam welder within your shop with a forklift and uh, we also have the same provisions here in the back so that you're able to insert your forklift uh, forks and be able to lift it should you need to go into a narrow uh, passing. Back here in the back of the seamer, another thing that we do is we really pay a lot of attention to the uh, cable management. So we have one, one PC board in here that actually houses the I.O., the PLC, everything's on there. The drives, the drives for the uh, carriage, for the automatic uh, uh, height adjustment, for the wire feeder, everything is on, on one board. So that way if anything happens, it's only one board that you have to replace. Uh, we have all the cables coming up here through this one cable carrier and uh, that and we actually place the power supply on the unit as well. We'll create a sh small shelf down here should we need to put the power supply here or we will go ahead and mount the, the TIG type machines on the carriage so that that way everything is on one unit and relocating your seamer within your, sh your shop should be a simple task. A couple other small features that we do that make a big difference for the operators and in the field is uh, we have a little level right here. Sometimes when you remove your mandrel and put it back on, you're trying to coordinate it in the right position. So that little level makes it easier for him to do that. Also, if he's running a hundred different parts, we provide for him an in stop that he can place anywhere along the length of the mandrel so that he's able to uh, repeat all the time to the same position as he's running production. Another thing that we do for our seamers is we actually provide you a clamping uh, unit right here. It's a small clamp that actually holds the old holes and the new holes together so that the operator, so that the maintenance man can actually be able to fish through the new holes. We provide this pocket in the front of the tabletop assembly of the seamer so that that way you remove the cover, in, uh, disconnect your hose, connect it up to the new one, and now you just fish it through. So what I'm doing is I'm actually pulling the hose through and you can see our clamp assembly is right here. So you now would remove the clamp assembly, remove your aluminum plug that's on the end of your old hose and you just transplant that onto there and you're done. So in an hour you can do the job that it would take you two days to do by having to replace all the fingers. If you take a look underneath here, all the fingers are there. So we're actually fishing right through that channel without having to disassemble anything. That kind of concludes some of the things about our seamers. Any questions, any suggestions, give us a call. Have a good day.